Hello and welcome everyone. So today we are going to talk about Uniprot. By we can enter into Uniprot by simply typing here Uniprot or Uniprot.org, and then we are clicking here. After that, we are directly entering into the Uniprot homepage. So, what is Uniprot? Uniprot is a protein database where we can find every information about the proteins. It is the database where not the precise data, data but very informative and every every information we can find here and how we can find here is that uh, all the protein databases that are available today the data of this every databases are collected here uh, using the interface so we have also talked about pdb in our previous video so if you haven't seen that video i'll put the uh, link in the description box so um this when pdb also is also a protein database so where we can we can find the very you can say it is precise information of the proteins but uh, for uniprot which is the universal protein database here we can find uh, every structural functional every information here so here you see this is the home page of Uni uniprot so it consists of uh, various you see he, he, this is the comprehensive resource for protein sequence and annotation data so uh, it includes here the this here this is the core protein knowledge the core protein knowledge base which is known as the uniprot kb or the you can say this is the knowledge knowledge base the uniprot knowledge base so it is also consists of two parts which are swiss prot and tremble here in the Swiss prot, it is the central hub for the collection of functional information of proteins uh, with accurate, consistent, and rich annotations. Here uh, in this Swiss database, here uh, we can see uh, these sections. These sections are manually annotated and reviewed records. It has, and for Chamble, these are computationally analyzed records. It also consists of other parts which are UniRF where sequence clusters are found and Unipark where we can see the sequence archive and all the this you you can say the complete protein sets of species which uh, we are finding here in it is called as the proteomes other informations are here uh, in the form of the supporting data and also other informations so, uh, here I, I would like to mention here that we can also find here blast which where we can see here we can search the similarity between different sequences and also we can align them align for the different different sequences of proteins and uh, also this alignment uses the cluster omega program we can retrieve retrieve the id mapping here we can simply search for peptide so uh, you, you can enter into this uniprot by simply clicking here or by typing here so i'm going to type here something any protein, any sort of protein, for example, hemoglobin. So yeah, you can see here we can, we can find various various types of hemoglobins here. See, this is the results. Also, one more thing, you can you, you can simply search for your human, mouse, or any any organisms you want for your your work. So I'm going to search for human. See, this is filtering out for the humans. Hemoglobin subunit gamma 2 and there are various hemoglobin. And these are the entry numbers which are unique for every each and every proteins. So I'm going to see this first one. Click here, we're clicking here. So now we I'm I'm getting all the information about this protein. First of all, the protein name, gene name, or the organism name, status and the experimental evidence of the protein also we can find the functions here one more thing is that you can simply filter out it like this so here it is the function by clicking here you can get the function since in the uniprot kb we are getting a lot of information so we can filter out so what we what you need to what you need for your work so i am clicking here for the function yeah i'm getting the function also it is we are getting the sites where the metal binding sites or the binding sites anything it have the biological processes enzyme pathway databases everything and then 
here I can click for names and taxonomy all the things I'm getting here protein names gene names the organisms it is present in the organism name that is the homo sapien the taxonomic number identifier everything next subcellular locations I'm getting the location of the protein here and then pathology and the biotech for where we are using this protein then everything you can screen out here also the modified residues which are present here next expression where it is expressed tissue specificity which is the red blood cells and also getting the developmental states gene expression databases interactions also getting the molecular function go molecular functions next we are getting the structure of the protein see this is the structure of hemoglobin it has four chains you can as you can see here this is the tetra homomeric similar type of four chains also let us discuss about this this is the pdv entries so you, you can simply take this pdv ids these are the pdv ids and you can paste on the pdv entries as as i have shown in the previous videos video of the pdv here you can simply take this pdv id and post it there and then you can download the structure also you can find here the resolution since we are taking resolutions less than to less than two armstrong a 2.5 so i'm i will take this one also you can find here the links the positions and the methods from where it has been taken next we are getting the family and domains also we are getting the sequence so we can also download the faster sequence from here so this faster sequence we will need for alignment or or the what do you say or homology modeling so we will need this is very important also for similarity searches next we are getting the similar type of proteins here similar proteins these are the cross references and some miscellaneous informations so this is all about pdb or a protein how to find the protein in the uniprot how to see the informations of any protein so in my next video i will talk about the sequel uh, the similarity search using blast program so if you like this video please click the thumbs up button please share and subscribe to my channel thank you